It's now possible to do virtual production 100% on your iPhone or iPad, just like they did in The Mandalorian all in real time. But this is all that you need. You don't need any other expensive tech. Virtual production has become more and more common around the world, but it's still out of reach for most filmmakers like myself and possibly you because it costs millions of dollars to build these LED volumes or tens of thousands of dollars to rent them out for use for a day. There are alternative ways to do virtual production without LED walls, like using a green screen. And this could be a little bit more cost effective, but most of the solutions out there are still pretty expensive because you need nice cameras, complex tracking systems, a really high end, you know, desktop gaming computer and other pieces of equipment to get it all up and running. And for most filmmakers, it's just been too complicated or too expensive to figure out. So that's why my co-founder and I have created an app called Skyglass that allows you to do virtual production 100% in real time from an iPad or an iPhone. And this has never been done or possible before. So it is pretty incredible and I'm really excited to share a lot more details with you guys right now. If you've been following my channel for a while, you may have noticed that in about the past year or so, my videos have really slowed down and I haven't been posting all that much. And that's because in the background, I've been working on this app with my co-founder. Now it's been a little bit over a year that I've been involved with this. He's done all of the Swift coding. He's an Apple developer. He actually helped develop the new Vision Pro headset that comes out. He's part of the original team developing that. So he's an incredible coder and knows his stuff through and through. And I'm showing this to you on my iPad because it's just a much bigger screen and it's easier for you guys to see. But I think most of the time, most content creators are gonna be using their phone. So right now we're launching right into what we call our AI background removal mode. So you can see that this is cutting me out and there's a little bit of artifacts and such around my hair because we're not using a green screen. Okay, pause. I'm editing this video right now. And since recording this, we've actually improved our AI background removal. So it looks a lot cleaner now. The edges are on my shoulder and face, you can see are a lot better and have less artifacts than they show throughout this video. Okay. Back to it. You can see how the entire background moves and parallaxes as I move the iPad around. I'll go ahead and slide my finger across the screen and we can look up at the sky. We can look down at the floor. I mean, right now it's cutting out the table because it just removes people. Let's take a look at some other AI generated scenes real quick because this is the first thing you're gonna see when you open the app after creating an account. So here's another AI scene that we have in there. Just some nice Northern lights and you don't have to film with this just vertically. You can turn it horizontally and you're getting that 16 by nine aspect ratio. So really, really cool what's possible. And this is just our 360 degree scenes that were generated with AI. So they're not even the highest quality. We have an entire set of Unreal Engine scenes that are full 3D with incredible lighting that you can move around in. So let me just show you how you can create a new scene. So let's tap here and we're gonna type it in, simple text prompt. A lot of people are used to mid journey and this is very similar to that, but it's really for environments. Let's do inside a, I love cyberpunk. And you can see in real time right now, it's generating that new background. All right, there we go, it just popped in. So we'll go ahead and tap on it. And here we go, you can see our neon futuristic room. There's a lamp back there, some chairs. This is really cool. And you don't have to film yourself. You can actually flip the camera around. And now I can take a look at this full 360 scene. So this is really cool. I like this, these huge windows, really, really cool. Oh, there's the bed and the lamps, glowing bed, super, super cool environment. Simply type it in with text and create whatever you want right there in the spur of the moment. Just, you have a video idea, Boom, type it in, new background, open it up and start filming. I mean, it's incredible. This has never been possible before. So to get into the Unreal Engine environments, we're gonna tap on browse here on the left. And this is where our entire library of Unreal Engine environments are available. And we have them in all different categories. So you can quickly find what you need. Need something fantasy, interior, got our different cyberpunk scenes landmarks, everything like that. And we're adding new environments to this all the time. It's a growing library. And if there's an Unreal Engine environment that you wanna use, maybe that you find on the Unreal Engine marketplace, you can actually use our plugin to convert it into something that can be used in the Skyglass app. Let's go ahead and open one up so you can see exactly what it looks like. So I'm gonna open up this old library. 
and it takes a second for it to load because this is all running off of the cloud in real time. It doesn't require any other equipment. You're not having to sync this up to your PC or something. It just loads up from the cloud. So you can see this little spinning icon. There we go. We're getting the blue spinning background. This blue vortex lets you know it's loading up. And there we go, we're here. So the first thing you're presented with is when you're in this selfie mode, it wants you to set the height of that virtual camera. So where is it at? And because I'm sitting down, I'm gonna tap on the chair icon to let it know that the camera should be at about the height of a sitting person. So I'll tap set floor height. And there we go. It looks like I'm sitting in this library right now, which is just incredible. And look at that beautiful lighting those shafts of light coming in through the windows. Really, really incredible. I wanna show you how this is a full 3D scene. This is not a 360 image. So let's flip the camera around and I'm gonna point the iPad down at the floor so it can get its location. You can move this little marker around. It's best to kind of put it in the center of your room and then tap done. And here we go. Now we can see this entire virtual scene. We could go and explore around. We can look up at the ceiling and out into this world and it's just incredible everything that you're able to see but i'm going to turn it on its side here and go into the game controller so that way you guys can see just how this is really a 3d environment so now we can navigate around this scene using these two joysticks and you can find just the right spot to film in. And of course you can adjust the height of this. You can see how I can look over these books. I could come down low, get a different angle. Whatever angle it is that you want to film at, you can just move there using this game controller. And some of these environments are massive and just have so many places to explore. So let's take a look at another one. Let me open up the library again and let's go into, let's see the Roman palace. This is a really big set. so. I'll take a second for it to load and boom, there we go. It's loaded up a full new Unreal Engine virtual environment. And just look at the quality of this. It's absolutely beautiful. You can actually walk through these environments in real time. If I were to get up and move around my room, this entire thing is gonna track and follow me wherever I go. So as long as you have enough space and an internet connection, you can move around these entire 3D environments in real time. It's like you're exploring them. It's pretty insane what's possible. You could tap on this little camera icon and then we get into all the different manual camera controls. So right now we're using the AI background removal, which you can see here is cutting out my hand with no green screen all in real time. But you can also use this with a green screen. So I'll tap on this little person icon. And then now what we need to do is tap on a green screen, which I don't have one set up right now but we'll use this little pop-up one so I can show you. Woo! It's huge what it looks like. So let me put this right here. It's keying out a lot better than it was with the AI. Now let's switch over to my iPhone for a second and I'm gonna keep on showing you some really cool features. So I'm in an Unreal Engine environment here and this has some rain animation in it and you can actually use any animations that you want. You could have people walking in the background, planes flying overhead, whatever it is, anything you could do in Unreal Engine, you could do here in the app as well. Fully manual aperture controls and I'll go ahead and just show you that really quick here in the app. You can just scroll along. I'm at F1.8 right now, and I can go all the way down to F1.4. And you can also change other features like your white balance. We have full manual white balance control, so you can change the temperature anywhere from 2,500 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin. So get full controls there. We have tint control, so you can do green and magenta shifts. And we also have the ability to change your exposure, but I found that auto exposure works pretty well. And then I like to lock it off once I get good exposure so that it doesn't change on you in the middle of filming. One thing that really helps make the foreground subject blend into the background is our custom color filters, which is this last little icon here. And if you tap these little lines on the right, it'll bring you into the black point. When you go to zero, it's gonna have less dark shadows, but we can crush them down so that you know your subject can match the background pretty well. I like to keep mine around 0.10 to 0.20, just kind of depends on the scene, but it really helps it blend in nicely so your subject matches the background a little bit better. There are a couple other custom camera controls as well, like adjusting your focus, which is this icon here. So you can just have autofocus on, or you can tap on it again, and then tap the little lines next to it. And that's where you can change your focus actually on the real world subject. So there's a lot of manual camera controls built into this. So you can really dial in the image and get it to look the way that you want, both in the real world with the subject 
and the virtual world so you can get those two things matched up exactly how you want them to look in camera. But I actually wanna show you some real world results that I got with this iPhone a couple days ago, filming some actors on a couch with a green screen in my living room. And I really want you to see what's possible with this. With no editing, all this virtual production happened in real time. I could actually see the final image as I was shooting it. So let's check it out. You don't look like you belong here. So what's your game? No, I'm just a pawn. Confident, so I'll give you that. So, how much do you think it would cost me to have you do a job for me, per se? Yeah, you need to leave, now. I don't think you want that, Marco. See, I don't think you're gonna be too happy about what you see on the other side of that door. Wow, so you admit it. You are a fed. Tell you what, if you ever show your face here again, it won't end well for you. I think you should be careful who you're talking to, Marco. You have no idea who I am, and I'd hate to ruin that pretty face of yours. So hopefully you enjoyed that little short scene. We had a lot of fun filming it, and it was just so easy to do because it just pulled out my phone and filmed. I could just turn the camera and get a close up on her and all the virtual background matches. And then I can move it and get the actor and get his coverage and the virtual background all moves and matches. Obviously it's not perfect yet. There are definitely a few flaws and we're working on them, but this app is new and this is really only the beginning. It's gonna get so much better. We're adding so many things. I just, oh man, there's so much coming down the pipeline that I'm excited to share with you guys. For example, we're gonna be adding the feature that you can get all of the layers individually exported so you can do your own compositing. Another feature that we're currently developing with a partner of ours is AI relighting. So you'll actually be able to take your video, you don't have to light the scene perfectly and it'll actually relight your face to match the environment. So let's say that you're filming in one of these virtual environments with the sunlight shining on you. Well, it's all gonna relight and make it look like the sun is shining on you as you turn your face. I can't go over all the new features that we're adding to the app. Go to the app store right now and type in Skyglass. Should come right up and download the app right now. As long as you have a newer iPhone or iPad, say within about the past five years, it should work for you. And I know this question is gonna come up can you use this with a real camera, like a cinema camera, you know, a Sony FX3 or a Canon camera? Right now, we don't have that ability. When we first developed the app, we did have it working with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, but it was really complicated and it required NDI and a bunch of converters and things to make it all work together. But we wanted this to be as simple to set up and as cheap as possible. So for right now, we're just focusing on iOS devices, but maybe in the future we'll add that support if enough of you guys want it. All right guys, I can't wait to see what you make with the Skyglass app and I'll see you in the next video.